Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video, and welcome to a FNAF movie dedicated FNAF news video. It has been a super, super long time since we've had a full video dedicated to everything about the upcoming FNAF movie, but the other day, it seems like we were just getting announcements after announcements, brand new looks after brand new looks, even a leaked scene from the film. So instead of trying to cram all these really cool brand new looks at the film into a typical FNAF news video i'm like screw it let's just do a dedicated fnaf movie news video so hopefully you're looking forward to that and like i just said we got a whole bunch of brand new looks and leaked scenes for the film so frankly let's not waste any more time if you're excited for the fnaf movie scroll down subscribe to the channel and let's just hop right into it first up we got a brand new promo reel from blumhouse advertising these brand new fnaf glassware that you can actually see being used in the film itself and if you sign up for their newsletter over on their website you actually have a chance to win some of these glass We've seen these before, they were given out to a few members of the cast and the crew. They feature Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, as well as Foxy. Towards the end of the video, the monitor does glitch out and we do get an error message. People have been trying to find secrets in this text, but it doesn't look like there are any. But certainly a very interesting promo. I'll leave the Blumhouse website linked down below if you do want to sign up for the newsletter, get a chance to win these glasses. And now let's move on to some brand new behind the scenes shots for the filming of the film. First up, we've got the facade of Freddy Fazbear's pizza a place and crazy to believe that not too long ago only a few months ago we were stalking every single development the construction of this Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place facade and now here we are like what two months away from the film's release it is crazy so in this image we do see what appears to be a few crew members getting some shots of the outside of the pizzeria it looks like it lines up pretty well with the shot we do see in the trailer itself so I'm curious to know if that's the actual shot the next image is yet again another look at the facade of the pizza Pizzeria, a whole bunch of people outside now with the sign all lit up at nighttime it glows fantastically I still just cannot get over the detail put into this pizzeria by the way these were all released on the IMDB page for Garen Sparks seems like he was a crew member specifically a medic on site during the filming so this is pretty cool shout out to you for giving us more behind the scenes footage Garen also showed off a t-shirt that crew members got for working on the film featuring the bad cupcake title orange whip grip grip department 2012 23. Now, I'm not entirely sure what grip department is, but the artwork on this shirt looks absolutely fantastic. I do really hope that they can release some of these products as official merchandise, though I do know for a lot of films, they do have specific products they give out to only cast and crew. And finally, for images we got from Garen, we got a clapperboard used during the filming of the film. On it, you can of course see the production title for the movie, Bad Cupcake, the director, Emma Tammy. You can also see the name of the director of photography, Lynn Moncrief, who actually worked on on another Blumhouse project, Megan. You're gonna see Garen's name a lot in this video because he was in the comments of a lot of Instagram posts revealing a little bit of info about the film. When someone was sent this bonus image of the cupcake prop used in the film, Garen would actually respond to that post because if you look closely at the cupcake's eyes, they're completely white. Seems like they might have LEDs inside and that's how they light up and change color. Well, the reason why we're talking about this cupcake image, Garen and the glowing eyes, because like I said, he responded to someone when they commented, hashtag Hashtag make their eyes white again. Garen left a reply saying, watch the movie, it's explained. Because in the teaser and trailers, we do get a lot of shots with the animatronics with differently colored eyes. Sometimes they're, again, the plain white, sometimes they're orange, sometimes they're yellow, sometimes they're, of course, the very controversial red. A lot of people are speculating, oh, they change color based on what the animatronic is doing. If they're performing on stage for the kids, they're the classic white. If they're just searching for someone, they're yellow, and when they found someone, they're red. Now, that's not confirm that's just a working theory but it does seem like we will get an explanation for the eye color change in the film itself and speaking of the animatronics performing up on the stage we got this brand new look at the characters well doing exactly that this is actually a leaked photo it's supposed to release alongside the total films october 2023 issue that's a magazine where they show off a whole bunch of brand new looks at upcoming films releasing in october november kind of time but it seems like the issue got leaked online early and we got a few shots of dune part two as well as of course 
just what we're talking about right now, this brand new shot of the FNAF movie. So we got Bonnie the Bunny, Freddy Fazbear, and of course Chica the Chicken, as well as Mr. Cupcake up on the stage. The stage itself looks exactly like we see it in the trailers, with the clouds in the background, presumably the lights above the characters as well, even in the middle, that little segmented bit with the bricks. Though there were some people who pointed out, hey, these costumes look a little bit different from what we've seen so far in the trailers, why is that? Well, if you actually look closely, these are not costumes of the characters, instead, they're the full-scale one-to-one recreations of the animatronics. If you look inside their mouths, or just under Freddy's shoulder is actually the best place to get a look at their endoskeletons, you can see the mechanisms used for these animatronics. Because we do know in the film, sometimes we're gonna have shots of these animatronics performing on stage with actual animatronic movements, and sometimes, like we've seen with one of the actors at the Jim Henson's Creature Shop, we're going to have people inside the suits acting out the movements that traditional robots just can't do. So that's why if you compare this shot of Freddy Bonnie Chica to some other shots we see them in the trailers, that's why these suits just look a bit different. I really do hope we get some really good shots of the animatronics actually performing up on the stage. Of course, we got this brand new look at the characters. We also have that scene where Mike turns on the power and they boot up on stage and they start singing around, the curtains open, you know? So I'm just really looking forward to that. Tell me, what are your thoughts on this brand new looks at the characters? Are you excited to see them perform on the stage? We do know they're gonna have voices in this film. It could be pretty interesting if we see them boot up, they start singing a song, and then things go south, they start glitching out, their voices get all distorted. All right, well now let's move on to one of the most interesting topics we've had regarding this film, because we actually got a leaked scene technically, because over on Instagram not too long ago, someone actually posted a demo reel for the film that they worked on, and in the scene, it depicts Abby, Mike's younger sister, as well as her babysitter, Max, having a conversation about dinner, as well as what she's drawing. The full reel is a minute and a half, so I'm not gonna put the entire thing in this video, but just pointing out a few details, we know that the drawing that Abby's making involves her, as well as a few punks, which she calls her friends. We see Max trying to push Abby to eat some dinner, though, Abby is apparently not hungry. That results in Max taking away her drawing utensils as well as the piece of paper. Abby getting rightfully pretty mad. Max, what the heck was that all about? Abby then getting super ticked off, saying that Max is now sitting on one of her friends, though Max, of course, says... Abby, there's no one here. Abby then says he doesn't like you now. Max getting very, very startled, saying that Abby can do whatever the hell she wants, though you know what happens to kids who don't eat? They stop growing. They don't get to ride the, the adult rides at the amusement parks. And while your body stays young and you don't grow, everyone else gets older. Abby snaps back, saying that her friend thinks that she is an idiot and Max responding with, at least I'm real. So like I said, keep in mind, this is only a demo reel. The actors or actresses you're seeing in this demo reel, of course, are not Kat Carter Sterling and Piper Rubio, the actual actresses for Max and Abby. So this isn't going to be an actual scene in the film, but the dialogue and the script used for this scene definitely, definitely will be. This is just testing out to see, all right, is the script good? Does the dialogue work here? Let's get some camera shots going. But certainly a very interesting piece of dialogue for these characters. I'm curious to know who do you think Abby's friend is? I think the most common answer I've seen so far is it is Golden Freddy, or at least the spirit who possesses Golden Freddy, because we do see Abby and Golden Freddy kind of buddy-buddy throughout this film. We, of course, did have that teaser of them standing outside of the pizza place, as well as getting into the taxi with Corey X. Kenshin. And if these friends, or these punks that Abby's talking about in this drawing are actually the spirit possessing the animatronics, it makes sense why they would want to, quote, make her one of them, like we hear Vanessa say in the trailer. This reel has just gotten me so much more excited for the film. The dialogue works so, so well. I'm really excited to see them actually play into character dynamics, and it's not just Oh, look, it's Freddy Fazbear. Boo, he's jumping out and he's gonna get ya. They're actually going in-depth with characters. They're giving them some really fascinating backstories and personalities, and I can't wait. But that's gonna do it for this FNAF Movie News video. Thank you so much for watching. A lot of very interesting reveals. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the FNAF movie. Are you excited for it now that we're almost only two months away from its release? So thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.